Hey YouTubers, it's Sarah, less of Sarah. Um, I wanted to do a quick grocery haul video today. I know I did a grocery haul from my uh, shopping trip in Buffalo, New York a little while ago. Of course, I don't live in Buffalo, but I am there quite often for business, so I do some shopping while I'm there usually. But I did promise that I would do a Canadian grocery haul um, for those Americans who are interested and for the few Canadian followers that I have. Um, you'll notice today is something a little different. I think for only the second time in like 80 videos that I've made, my stylist was on vacation. So no hair and makeup today, no earrings. Um, mostly because I just came back from the gym. I did an hour of uh, weights with my trainer and then half an hour of cardio on the treadmill and I'm feeling great. So after that, I went grocery shopping because conveniently there is a uh, supermarket in the same plaza where my gym is. So that was awesome. So, for you guys who aren't Canadian, um, a lot of these products are going to be stuff that you probably can't find. If you live in uh, a border state, um, you may see some of these things from time to time, and there also may be things that um, you may find under a different name. So, in my last grocery haul video, I showed some frozen fish fillets from Gorton's. Um, this is the Canadian version of the exact same thing. Literally the same product. Um, here it's called Blue Water rather than Gorton's. The packaging looks different. If you actually look at the Gorton's packaging for this, you'll see that it says it's a product of Canada. Why the different name? I have no idea, but this is exactly the same thing. It's the Gorton's, um, garlic butter pollock fillets. I don't know. Weird but true. So you'll have to excuse me because I'm going to be like digging through bags to find stuff, but, um, let's see what we have. I finally found finally at my favorite store where they've been hiding the wonton wrappers. So I'm going to use these to make the um, little taco and enchilada um, cupcakes. Uh, I know Diz's Journey I think has talked about them on her videos. Um, they're from the uh, blog Emily Bites. I think it's just emilybites.com and she does all kinds of little, um, sorry, foods in um, uh, cupcake, sorry, Cake. muffin tins um, is sitting in wonton wrappers um, so that's why I got those so I'm gonna try those hopefully on the weekend I bought a few things because um, oh and my iPad is acting up again with the lighting great thanks Apple um, I bought a few things because I've been having a problem lately with um, chicken and turkey and even beef if it is not if it doesn't have some kind of sauce or something to dip it in it does not sit well. Um, I don't know. I, it seemed to be okay for a while and all of a sudden it seems to be really acting up for me. So I got a few things to uh, try and counteract that. Um, this you've probably seen before. This is also available in the US. It's holy guacamole. It's 60 calories for two tablespoons. Then there is this. I don't know if this is sold in the US. It may be sold under a different name. It's Summer Fresh. Um, Greek yogurt dip basically it's almost like a tzatziki this one is artichoke and asiago um, and this is um, 45 calories for two tablespoons and it has three grams of protein so not bad and this uh, you can definitely find in the US as well this is sabra hummus this one is a flavor I hadn't seen before which is Greek olive I love olives um, so I wanted to try that one. And this is, I think, 70 calories for two tablespoons. It has two grams of protein. So not bad. A little extra protein to dip things in. I don't usually use two tablespoons of anything um, in that circumstance. So um, I'm not too stressed out about the calories and that sort of thing from those. Um, I got some lunch meat to make roll-ups and stuff. Um, I did buy some for my kids as well. But what I bought for me was this. Um, this brand is President's Choice. President's Choice is a Canadian store brand. Um, they make really good products. And uh, this is President's Choice Oven Roasted Turkey Breast. Um, they have what they call Blue Menu, which is um, lower fat, lower sodium products, um, healthier products. Um, so that's what I buy when it comes to lunch meat. So I got that and this um, rosemary and black pepper ham, which is my favorite. So got those as well. What else? Oh, some veggies. Um, you guys probably all know I don't eat a lot of vegetables. iPad, stop it. This is um, President's Choice. Again, this is um, Asian blend frozen vegetables. It has uh, yellow and orange carrots, snap peas, edamame, 
uh, whole baby corn and garlic sprouts. And it is about um, 60 calories for half a cup. About 8 grams of carbs. Again, I'm not going to eat half a cup of vegetables, so not too concerned. Um, I can't remember if I showed these are not in my U.S. grocery haul. This um, I know is sold in the U.S. as well, as that's where I normally buy it. It's Bolt House Farms yogurt dressing. Um, one tablespoon, which is what I would normally use, is 25 calories. Um, three grams of carbs. A little tiny bit of protein from the yogurt. This one is honey mustard, and I bought this to um, dip lunch meat and stuff in. Or make, like when I make lunch meat roll-ups, just thought that would be a good dipping sauce. I do have the ranch and the Caesar one as well. The Caesar one I'm not in love with. The ranch one I think is really good. The other thing I bought, and I know a few girls will really appreciate this, Nikki, Sue, Julie, and Jen. <laughs> this is for you. I bought pickles, finally. I love pickles. I really do. I haven't had them in a while. I went through a phase where I had to have them. I think it was about five or six weeks out and I was just craving pickles like mad, like I was pregnant. It was ridiculous. And these are garlic kosher baby dills. They're Vlastic. They're my favorite. Again, totally can buy these in the US as well. Amazing. Favorite pickles ever. What else? Oh, a birthday card for my son. I don't think you need to see that. My little one um, turns four. Come on, iPad. Really? Really? Really, iPad? Do we need to do this every time I try and do a grocery haul? Enough. Uh, sorry, I just had to give it a talking to there. Um, yeah, so my, my, my youngest son is turning four tomorrow, so he got a Spider-Man card because he loves Spider-Man. What else did I buy? Oh, I had to buy some Greek yogurt. I do not like buying Greek yogurt here because it costs an arm and a leg. Um, I like buying groceries in the U.S. because they're a lot cheaper. Uh, food is very expensive here. Just a fact of life. Um, this is Liberté. Liberté, again, Canadian brand, but pretty much the same as any other Greek yogurt out there. Uh, six ounces is going to be 100 calories, six grams of carbs, 18 grams of protein. So very similar to a Faye or a Chobani or whatever. I got some mushrooms. Woo! I've been on a real mushroom kick. These are good. This is, uh, it's called Gourmet Mix. And so it has like oyster mushrooms and shiitakes and yeah, it's got like a, a blend of mushrooms. Um... I never liked mushrooms that much. I actually was sort of, not allergic, but I had an intolerance when I was a kid, but now I love them. And especially after surgery, for some reason, I really like them. Bought some strawberries. They're huge. I don't know if you can see how giant they are. Um, oh, they smell really good too. Oh yeah. Um, you guys probably know I eat very little fruit, um, but berries are very low carb. So when I do eat fruit, I try and eat berries. And so I really just wanted to buy some strawberries because they're delish. I bought some onions to go with my mushrooms. Onions, not really a low carb vegetable, but you know, whatever. Um, <laughs> and then some more protein stuff. Let me just see here. Let's try and pull some of it out. I bought some seafood. Um, so I bought, uh, thank you, iPad. I bought this. Um, I, the brand is Northern King. I don't know. I'm not sure if it's available in the U.S. Um, it is a Canadian product, so. Um, this is just a, a bunch of a seafood mix. Um, it has calamari, mussels, um, shrimp. I'm trying to see what else is in there. Clams and octopus. Love seafood. I also bought a big bag of... As you can see because the bag is huge, but a big bag of cooked shrimp. Yum. I love shrimp and uh, yeah, need more seafood in my life. And then I bought these. <clears throat> these are um, a Canadian product as well. They're actually made, uh, sorry, upside down. They're, they're packaged or they're made very close to where I grew up. They're called Lou's and Lou's makes prepared meats basically. And these are, uh, they're supposed to be two servings. Obviously for me, they would be more like four at least, maybe five servings um, for each one. And this is slow roasted beef. It basically is a little shrink wrap package inside and you can either put it in the microwave or put it in boiling water. Um, they're fully cooked. Um, the roast beef has, so for half a package, which is 185 grams, which would be way more than I could eat. Um, I could probably eat, again, half of that if that, even half would probably be too much for me. Um, so 
one quarter of the package would be, or you know, about 90 grams, let's say, would be 130 calories, uh, four and a half grams of fat, four and a half carbs, 22 grams of protein. So that's pretty good. Um, that was for the roast beef. I also bought chicken teriyaki, which I thought would probably have a lot of sugars in it, but um, again, a really big serving, a 200 gram serving. Um, has 10 carbs, so half of that 100 gram serving would only have five, and again, 100 grams is still more than I can really eat. And I know they also have a butter chicken one, which I really wanna try, because I love butter chicken, but I didn't find it today in the store. I know they have it at Target, though, so. Um, and this is slow roasted beef tips, and again, the numbers are very similar to the other ones. But um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to these, because buying packaged stuff is hard. Uh, they do have family size ones, obviously, and I. I can't really eat that much, and I don't like to eat the same thing every single day, so I don't want to sit in the fridge for like a week. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so that is my Canadian grocery haul for today. Please excuse my appearance. I will uh, glam up for you tomorrow. I'm going to make another video talking about some of the things that I mentioned on my Friday video. So talking about emotional eating and, um, I don't know, I guess cravings, cheating, all that stuff at, uh, at four months out. So I will see you guys tomorrow looking a bit cuter. Love ya. Have a great day.